It's not photography anymore. I don't care about photography. Uh, it's, I don't like to use a word, but it's just another aspect of meditation, really. See this picture here? I took three exposures. Uh, in fact, uh, all of these, I, I took three exposures or late. I've been taking five exposures of each particular one. But what's interesting is this pickup, the white pickup there, was edging out into traffic. And so in the three exposures, the handle on the door is in three different places. And in this particular picture, it's in the right place. <laughs> And if you look at it, now maybe this is crazy, I don't know. Everything in here is in the right place. That ball on the ground, um, where that sign is, where those numbers are on that. Everything is always in its right place. But that's not, generally speaking, how we experience things. You can even make an intellectual case about that. Let's say things are not in the right place. So am I going to put them in the right place? You see, it's an absurdity. If the universe is out of order, I can't put it in order. On the other hand, if it is in order, why am I always trying to put things in there in order? See? So just forget the whole thing. And now and then, uh, your mind may open and you will see everything's in its place and the order is there. I suspect that when your body is in tune with a photograph, you say, oh, that photograph's okay. Uh, I suspect what it is resonating with is within that two-dimensional framework, it's saying that everything is in its place. You look at the stuff and your body will tell you. A photograph of Jesus or the Buddha would be way more valuable than any painting, even if it was identical, right? Because of that illusion. This really was, this really took place. So that's why when the artists get a hold of it and start doing all their stuff to it, it's like they're working against a medium as far as I'm concerned. And, uh, you know, maybe they do some interesting things, but uh, the really most powerful aspect of photography gets lost in the process. I liked being out doing this stuff. Uh, I like to work alone a lot. I, don't like, I can work with other people, but I'd rather work alone. And, uh, and just going out and finding this stuff, and you, it's almost like hunting. You have, to, uh, you have to trust that you just put yourself out there, and then uh, after a while something will hit you. You know, and it takes a lot of fortitude, actually. Hi, excuse me. Do you mind if I take pictures of this uh, picture you have on the wall here? The one over there? Yeah. I know if that's a, I, uh, I'm working on a project, and I don't use one in a thousand pictures I take, but this looked pretty interesting. Either I see differently or something's changed, or maybe both. You know, when you're older, the end game is clearly in sight. <laughs> and the end game is you die. <laughs> that changes everything, you know. And on the one hand, I like people to see these pictures, but finally, I don't care.